This video explains the monorail type sludge removal system installed in a horizontal flow sedimentation basin. This sedimentation basin has four separated channels at the basin bottom. There are two monorail type sludge removal systems installed in the basin. Each drive unit maintains two channels. Monorail type construction features a blade carrier equipped with sludge scraping blades, which shuttles on a rail installed on the basin bottom. First, the drive unit begins forward rotation to lower the scraping blades. Then, the blade carrier moves towards the pit, collecting the sludge. The monorail type system has the following features. There are no brackets at the side wall of the sedimentation basin that could cause the deposition of sludge. The system has fewer components, so there are fewer spots to inspect, and fewer consumables are used in construction. The simple structure requires no special expertise for maintenance or repairs. The shape of the scraping blade is designed to match the shape of the basin bottom, which reduces residual sludge after scraping. The scraping blade travels the basin bottom, which makes it less susceptible to earthquake shock, and is equipped with derailing prevention components. No advanced installation techniques are required and most of the components are pre-assembled, ensuring quick and easy installation. Scraping speed is set at about 20 centimeters per minute for both scraping and return travel by inverter control. However, speed adjustment is possible. Speed control is also possible via a speed reducer equipped with a transmission. The driving method of this system is two channels per drive unit. The blade carrier travels towards the tail with the sludge scraping blade raised in the adjoining channel. When the blade carrier reaches the pit, it is stopped automatically by the position controller. The position controller is set at the tail side, designed to activate the limit switch via the link mechanism. The drive unit starts reverse rotation to raise the blades after a predetermined lapse of time and the blade carrier travels backward toward the tail. The blade carrier travels towards the pit with the sludge scraping blade lowered in an adjoining channel. This sequence of action is repeated. The system is equipped with numerous protective measures. In the event of a malfunction of the stop limit switch, an overrun limit switch will automatically stop the drive if the stop position is surpassed. If all limit switches are out of order, the stopper built into the rail will stop the blade carrier and the torque limiter built into the speed reducer will stop the motor. If the stop switch is inactivated after a given time, the motor is stopped automatically to protect the system. The drive unit is very compact in size. It directly tows the link chain by sprocket rotation. The link chain has no separate machine processed parts ensuring far less failure due to the accumulation of residue, 
or corrosion. It is ideal for a deep sedimentation basin since it requires no advanced spin finishing in construction. No lubrication is required. The monorail type sludge removal system has superior scraping capacity. Intermittent operation is possible, depending on the amount of sludge deposited. In the horizontal flow sedimentation basin, the differing amounts of sludge deposit in the channels of the upper and lower streams makes it possible to reduce the frequency of scraping in the lower stream channel, having less sludge deposit. Reducing the frequency of operation reduces electricity costs and increases the life of the equipment. The driving method of this system is two channels per drive unit. Other driving methods are also available. One channel per drive unit and three channels per drive unit. Next, we will explain the scum removal system. Scum is generated in sedimentation basins, even at a water purification plant. When scum builds up in a filter basin, its treatment requires time and expense. The manual trough type scum removal system explained here is installed in a flock formation basin and a sedimentation basin. This is a float scum sludge removal system with many proven positive results at sewage plants. Features are the trough type has no large bearings which allows very light operation compared to the pipe type. The structure allows the floating shuttering board to remain sunken up to a pre-designated water depth, which results in efficient scum removal. The trough basal plane has a built-in gradient that brings greater drainage capacity. This is far superior to the reduced removal capacity of a pipe type when it is full of water. The manual type is explained here. We also have other driving methods, power operated, air cylinder, and water cylinder types. When you are faced with a challenge that can only be met by a quality machine with a long operating life, we offer the monorail type sludge removal system and the trough type scum removal system. With our unique Japanese know-how, we've made quality machine systems that will last, save energy, and bring you the greatest satisfaction.